This is a Caterpillar 416F Series 2 backhoe. It's made by CCM and it's in 124 scale. Now this is part of the contractor series from CCM. They're basically taking the your average, you know, dirt moving equipment that that you know a general contractor might have on site and they're making the models in the bigger 124 scale. And they're really pretty nice. I I like them. I like the bigger models and it's nice that they're kind of right there in the middle of the road. You know, you're not building the, the biggest, baddest, you know, stuff from Caterpillar. It's the average Joe kind of stuff. And the 416 is a pretty good example of that. It's your basic get your foot in the door and get a Caterpillar backhoe machine. It'll get the job done. There's nothing really terribly exciting about it. Now, that being said, it's kind of unusual that it has a 4-in-1 bucket. Not that there aren't 416s with a 4-in-1 bucket. It's certainly an option you can get. But Caterpillar has like, I don't know, maybe six different backhoes in their lineup that all have a little bit more weight, a little more horsepower, a little more hydraulic power. Things that uh, a 4-in-1 bucket is better suited for. Uh, like I said, not that you don't see it, but it's not very often that you do. It's kind of cool that it's on the model when I dig it, but... It kind of misses the point to me. Uh, now, as far as the backhoe itself goes, it looks really good. It displays great on the shelf, but that's about all you're going to get it to do. The build quality, the manufacturing quality, is not great. You can see how rickety the wheels are. All the cylinders are so stiff that... I'm fairly certain that if I stretch the, the hoe out or try to move the loader, I'm going to break something. And that's really pretty disappointing from CCM. I think every manufacturer in the past 10 years has struggled with build quality. And this is a good example of that. Uh, yeah, it come out of the box with the hydraulic lines broken on the 4-in-1 bucket. Uh, you have screw heads here on the loader. The loader, frame, the loader arms and the 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 bucket cylinder here that's very unusual from CCM. It's just strange. Um, I I don't know what it is, but you don't usually see that. Now the hood does open up, but just barely. That's as far as it goes. Uh, I'm sure it's meant to open further than that, but that's it. I mean, you really can't even see any of the motor in there, which is again not typical for CCM you kind of expect a little bit better especially for the price you pay now the cab door does open up the windows open up too in the back which is nice and you can see some really fantastic interior detail in there uh, that that's really pretty good the paint quality and the decals and all that they're really great I mean it's it really is a nice machine. It, it displays very well. The hydraulic hoses, you know, that kind of detail is fantastic. Some of the hoses run a little wild, which is kind of interesting. You do have some steering, which is cool. But for the most part, it's just, I don't know. I think they kind of missed the mark with this. And it's it's the build quality. I don't think it's the design from CCM. It's the, the quality of the, the manufacturing. You know, underneath you have everything there that should be there, and it looks really good. Again, you have the screw heads underneath. Underneath, I really don't care. You're never going to see it anyway, but still, just that, that they're there. I love the the finer decals. They look fantastic. You even have the little tie-down decals for, you know, where you're supposed to tie it down onto the trailer. And that's really pretty cool. Overall, it's a nice machine. It's a nice model, but... You tend to expect a little bit more from CCM, and when it you compare it to all the other stuff from CCM, this is a bit of a letdown, just because it's so fragile. It's all you know. I'm almost terrified to move anything. The uh, it's just it's it's kind of rickety. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it does come with literature, the sales literature, which is pretty cool. You have all the specs on there. Yeah, it's, it's an 87 horsepower backhoe. Like I said, this is the, the bare basic minimum machine that you can get. Which I think fits in with the contractor series. But there's, you know, you're not setting the world on fire. 
Um, anyway, it's got all the options and all the specs in it, which is pretty cool. I love seeing that kind of that kind of material with the models because it, it makes them a little bit more real to me, and I dig that. Uh, I do have some of the some other 124 scale models from CCM, and I really like all of them so far. It, it I don't feel the same way about this back end. It's I mean, I, I like it. It's nice. It displays well. But it's not the same quality as the rest of them. It just, uh, I don't know. It feels like the B team came in to work this, you know, the day they made this. I don't know. Anyway, that's about all I got for this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. If you have one of these backhoes that don't have the same problems that I do, let me know. Maybe I just got one of the bad ones. You know, you never know. I mean, they can't all be winners. Uh, if you'd like to see more of what I have, <clears throat> please subscribe to Maryland Construction Diecast. And thanks for watching.